Hey everybody, Tony here. Just finished making another video for the Leslie Vernon figure, but I have something else that's been sitting around here that I haven't shown you yet, and I really want to give you a chance to check it out. So um, I was doing a little research on eBay and, and Facebook and stuff, looking for figures that are cheap, and I was trying to buy some Shaun of the Dead stuff, and then when I was on eBay, I noticed that there was a zombie Ed figure that was being sold fairly cheap. They are on there for like $13, $14, and I noticed that none of these particular figures had packaging. So none of them that were being sold had packaging. They were all out of the box, which seemed weird to me because usually people sell the stuff in the box, and that's how I like to buy things too, mint in box. So uh, I did a little digging, did a little research, and as it turns out, the zombie Ed figure wasn't actually released. It was never released. It was something that they... Uh, planned to sell through uh, NECA and um, they apparently even started producing them but along the way some somewhere they decided not to sell it um, so what happened is kind of a mystery still no one as far as I in the research I've done as far as I could tell no one really knows where this figure came from the couple of theories that I heard one of one of them is that someone got the mold and started making them and the other theory is that NECA had actually produced a certain amount of these and then scrapped them and someone found the incomplete figures and decided to sell them. Uh, I think that's the more likely of the scenarios, the second one, that these were made and someone found like boxes or warehouse filled with them and decided to sell them themselves. All of these figures are coming out of China. China, Hong Kong, uh, none of them are being sold domestically as far as I can tell. So uh, that also kind of seems to suggest that the that the figures maybe were found in a warehouse somewhere. So I have Zombie Ed here. I already kind of put him on the stand and everything. He comes with the stand. You could kind of just pull him off there. And he also comes with the detachable chains here so all this stuff you could actually take off the chains the neck thing the handcuffs this is all detachable I actually just put it on there to kinda of put them together a little bit and have them displayed in my in my office um, there is some articulation but I'll tell you right away he looks pretty good. He, he does look pretty good. But I'll tell you right away, uh, you could tell that the paint job is not up to par, which is possibly one of the reasons that NECA decided not to sell them. Uh, it kind of works for this figure because he's a zombie and he's supposed to be all you know messed up looking anyway. But the paint job really is rather uh, subpar. And the paint that was used, I feel like there was something going on there because it's tacky sort of still. When I got them in the mail and I took the packaging off, it kind of stuck to them a little bit. Uh, it's gotten less tacky now, but you could still feel a little bit of a tackiness to it. Um, when I was messing around with the articulation, kind of moving the arms around and stuff, this arm actually, his uh, forearm actually just popped right out. <laughs> I, you know, I put him back together and it stays in there, but it's weird. Like certain pieces of him feel kind of loose and other pieces like this seem really stiff so again just little things reasons that maybe they decided not to sell them um, his neck moves around a little bit the arms move his torso and again you can see there he goes you can see that it kind of sticks a little at first but he does move around a bit his legs have a little bit of articulation um, this particular figure was originally supposed to sell with a little garden gnome and a game controller that he can hold, but neither of those things come with the figure. The only stuff they had were the uh, chain and the base, which is nice to have at least that stuff, but none of the figures that are being sold have the garden gnome or the game controller. None of the zombie Ed figures, I should say. So, uh, there he is. 
I mean, this was $14. It was free shipping from China. It took like three weeks to get here because of, you know, the fact that it was coming from China. But for 14 bucks, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't have many toys out of the box because I don't like to take my toys out of the box. So the fact that this doesn't come in a box is kind of cool because now I actually have something that I can kind of mess around with a little bit and display outside of a box and put with my other stuff. Um, and, you know, the little negatives that I mentioned, the paint job, the stiff joints, and the loose joints, they're really not that big a deal at the end of the day. Because, I mean, when are you going to get a figure for $14 that is as cool as this? Zombie Ed. Alright, um, that's basically all I have to say about Mr. Zombie Ed here from Shaun of the Dead. Um, I'll see if I could get some close-ups and better lighting for you guys to take a look at him. I would suggest, you know, if you're if you like Shaun of the Dead, I highly recommend picking up one of these figures. They may actually end up being one of the rarer ones, seeing as how they were not actually produced for sale. And um, I don't know how many of them there are out there right now. Uh, the last I checked, there were still a number of them on eBay, all coming out of China, like I said. Um, and you should be able to pick it up for $14, $15, $16 if you check it out now. All right, there he is. Have a good one, everybody. Uh, it's the Easter weekend, so I hope everyone has a good holiday if you celebrate. And if not, just have a great weekend anyway. See you soon.